Microsoft adds more games to xCloud free of charge. And because of that, a lot of Xbox goons try to go on the attack of Stadia. But did it work? <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so what you are going to see here on the screen is an article via WCCF Tech where they say Project X Cloud adds 50 more games, including Halo, Master Chief Collection, Destiny 2, and Civilization 6. Um, and they've also added, uh, let me see here, I think the more prevalent one is Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. And here's the thing, though. Um, in this article right here, I, I selected because what I originally gonna, was going to do when I created this video was going to respond to a more bombastic article that said that Google Stadia got buried because of xCloud, which, again, it doesn't affect me personally. I don't care because I know it ain't true. But what affects me is that I know that a lot of you listening are the unsuspecting gamer. And you guys see people with the blue check marks next to their name or the high numbers. And I tell you all the time, those high numbers next to those names that you see on social media is not their integrity score. They, these, I, I've, being in this community, I have seen that the vast majority of the people, the most well-known people that make up the, that are the staples of this community are the biggest liars I've ever met in my entire life, period. And you're talking to someone who has managed at a Fortune 500 company for over 20 plus years, managing managers, dealing with employees that come up with the most cockamamie excuses because they celebrated too hard at the Super Bowl and they don't want to come into work. I I've never seen liars at this extent before. You know what I'm saying? That being said, um, people are taking this news and they're saying because these games include Destiny 2, which is also available on Stadia, that that renders Stadia useless. Um, but we've already had that debunked. We've had that debunked because Tom Warren tried it and over on our Stadia Doses platform, we smacked that down, made Google aware of that, and he he shut up and changed his tune real quick. We got Paul Tassi do the same thing, and we, you know we made Google aware, and he's been mum about Stadia, which I'm pretty sure Stadia and Google prefers. And then we had um, Inside Gaming. We did the video prior to this on the Stadia dosage platform. And, you know, we just showed the ridiculousness and the, and the clickbaity need that that video was riddled in. You know what I'm saying? But all this is coming, all of the, some of these attacks that Stadia's dead and all this other garbage are coming on the heels of good Stadia news. So it makes you wonder, is Microsoft or Xbox uh, curating the, this message, you know what I'm saying? Like, why all of a sudden do they have Destiny 2? And is this going to be enough to help promote Project X Cloud? Um, I will say first, let me go over the positives because there are positives to take away from this. Um, having Halo Master Chief Collection on there to tinker around with is cool. Um, tinkering, tinkering around with product uh, with uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. Um, was fun on console, you know, to tinker around with. Um, also having Wastelands 2, Director's Cut on there is cool. And knowing that Surge is on there is okay. Um, put a place mark on that. I'll explain why it's only okay. But um, definitely, you know, having Wasteland 2, I think games like Wasteland 2 are built for mobile gaming. So hopefully that's been optimized and it works well on Project X Cloud, unlike a lot of the other games that are available there. And that's a segue into the negatives. Um, right now, to me, it doesn't matter what is available on Project X Cloud. It's too unstable. Um, I've extensively tested out all of the Premier, if you want to say, or the well-known cloud services. That include NVIDIA GeForce Now, Shadowblade, Project X Cloud, and Stadia. Um, prior to me doing the most recent extensive testing that I did in November, 
um, you know, I, I had some, I was going solely off a of project stream, which was Stadia's beta beta, you know, or alpha, whatever you want to call it, where they let you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey over the internet earlier in the year or earlier in 2019. And um, I was basing off of that. And it was an okay experience. I mean, it, it kind of freaked me out because I didn't expect it to work that well, but it worked pretty damn well. Um, and I had crappy internet at the time, so I was really amazed. That being said, um, I was expecting it to come in third, you know, be as well as maybe Project X Cloud because I had tested X Cloud prior to uh, me getting my hands on Stadia. And I will tell you this, that Stadia surprised me, as you guys should know by now, because I've created a whole platform around it, that Stadia outperformed GeForce NVIDIA, which I didn't think was possible. And it outperformed Shadow Blade, which I figured was possible. I'm not the biggest fan of Shadow Blade because of the graphic user interface, but um, you know, it, it, it performs pretty well. Um, so with that being said, if 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 Microsoft Microsoft is dead last out of the four, it did last. The games that are available are inconsistent. Even games like Borderlands 2 that runs well on everything, <laughs> you know, the border or Borderlands one or two, the Borderlands games were on on live remember that that was the original cloud gaming service it was on they were on on live and i guess they're made to work well with streaming I, i've even done them on S steam link which is not a great streaming service not the greatest but it even works on steam link it, it, it don't it, it has difficulty it chugs on project x cloud gears 5 which is their game works inconsistently it has what i call the tokyo drift you tap to the left and you're working you walking around in a circle like you nancy kerrigan on the skate ring you know what i'm saying it's like it's inconsistent where every game on stadia is buttery smooth on all of its supported platforms now there may be just several devices but those devices stadia has done an excellent job when they tell you we work here they work here hey, there is no tinkering and I don't want to hear the, the, the crap about, oh, uh, well, Project X Cloud is in beta. So is NVIDIA GeForce. So Shadow Blade has beta aspects of it that I've only tested the beta aspect. I haven't even tested the live version. It still blows Project X Cloud out of the water. So even though the games on paper look great and it may make an Xbox fanboy or someone that's an enthusiast of the platform jump up for joy, it's only on paper. You get the games in your hand and they don't work consistently and they don't work well. So people that are out there running talking about, well, Destiny 2 and these other games render Stadia useless because you can play these on your phone. Stadia not only plays a, a billion times better on the supported devices, it also plays better on the devices they haven't supported yet if you sideload it that's a whole nother video though and it's also available via laptop through web browsers i i i i'm probably going to throw up in my mouth the moment that project x cloud is available via web browser because it's bad on it's bad on 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 phones right now it's inconsistent there may be a couple of games that you can play seriously on there on those slew of games but the vast majority no. Tokyo Drift lag. It's 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 not serious. It's not even a serious contender. Take Stadia out of the equation. It's not even a serious contender. So what are my thoughts on this? Um, it's cool if you want to pound your chest and say, "Look what we have on here for free." But if you're serious about gaming on the go, there's nothing cool about this. And don't take it from me. Just look at the, the signal sent from Phil recently. He went from talking about how Project X Cloud, along with gaming on PC or wherever phones and tablets, was going to make Xbox extend to the 2 billion gamers. And he didn't have to sell you a console. To more recently saying cloud gaming is only good from when you're away from your console. If that isn't a backpedal, I don't know what the hell is. So my message as a cloud gaming enthusiast, even though... My preferred way to play is via PC. I'm, I'm enthused over cloud gaming because the technology is definitely there. It's just not showing with Project X Cloud. So my message 
to Xbox is if you're gonna get these games on there stop trying to look good on paper that's Xbox's problem stop looking good on paper and be excellent in people's hands so even though it's cool to see that these games are near free until xCloud becomes something a little bit more stable who cares it's it never was it's like going to the old I mean going to the Golden Corral seeing 30 variations of food and you like oh that smells good and someone takes arsenic and just pours it all over it it's poor you can't eat it now you can't enjoy it who cares if someone brings out another dish because you're like the other 30 that I just looked at was just poison and that's my how I feel about xCloud I feel like my experience was poison because you start up a game that doesn't work consistently try if you have access to GeForce now try a game that's available on xCloud and compare it to GeForce NVIDIA don't even don't even do it but don't even embarrass yourself with state do not boot up destiny 2 i'm not even gonna do that don't boot up destiny 2 on project x cloud and boot it up on stated that's just gonna be damn embarrassing but what xbox is hoping is that people that are not in the know will see that and in lieu of some good news that we're going to talk about on Stadia Dosage, they're going to say there's no reason for me to invest in Project, I mean, into Google Stadia, despite this new partnership that Stadia is getting into, because now xCloud has Destiny 2. Not knowing that the people that are that have Stadia don't give two rat asses about Destiny 2 anymore, because there are more... There, there are games with better broad appeal available on the platform and especially that were discounted so nobody cares about destiny 2 all like that no more that's why you saw the player base shrink in half in a matter in less than 30 days by 58 percent as told by paul tassi because games that they preferred came out borderlands 3 even dark siders genesis they sit to hell with this and they and they abandoned destiny including myself I haven't played it since borderlands 3 has been out so, be in the know, people. Don't listen to these ridiculous pundits out here, these puke pundits. And last but not least, it doesn't matter. It's quality over quantity. That's what we gotta, we gotta have Xbox work on both of those litmuses. They gotta be able to balance both. It's great on paper to have all these games available for free, but can you take this piece of paper and connect it to an HDMI cord and get smooth gameplay? No. You only do that when Microsoft rolls up their sleeves, get serious like their competitors out there, NVIDIA GeForce, Shadowblade, and Stadia, and make this damn thing work the way it should work. No excuses. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, excuse me, Got so horse dealing with the horse crap blank. <laughs> Sorry about that. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They lead to broadband bullies, PNTS network, hard knock digital culture, and as I mentioned, the state of the platform. And with that being said, hey look guys. Um, this is great technology. And when people are serious about it, when the when the people behind it are serious about it, it can do wonderful things. We just need Xbox with all of their resources to get serious like everybody else and stop just trying to look good on paper and make the game look shiny and pretty. First thing I propose is maybe do a scaler of the graphics to make it perform better if that helps. I don't know. But with that said, I don't, hey, these people get paid a whole bunch of money to figure the stuff out they need to. And with that said, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.